Hello everyone, this is Sachin again and today we will be understanding the concept of private host zones. Uh, this is going to be a very short tutorial and we will be just focusing on the private host zones. So there are two kind of host zones, one is like uh, public and another one is private. So in case of public host zones, you must be owning that domain. So for example, um, in my case, I own a domain called skshukla.com and that's why you know, I have uh, this entry over here, skshukla.com, with a public host zone because I own that. But sometimes you might have a requirement that you don't own the domain, but still you would like to access some servers or machines with some specific name, let's say mygoogle.com or something like that. I don't own that domain. So uh, just to best describe is, let's say you have a very typical architecture, I've created a separate VPC for it. and it has a typically like you know one public and one private subnet and two ec2 instances in each one of them so typically i ssh into this box which is in a public subnet domain and from this uh, ec2 instance i want to access to another ec2 instance now using a private ip i can ssh into this box but what if i want a specific name so for example i want to access the server with, with something very specific name like mygoogle.com still uh, that is doable within a VPC and that's we will understand how we can do that so um, before doing anything let's create a create host zone so in the host zone I just say my google.com okay let's put some description and here you need to choose a private host zone and here I need to choose my region which I'm in Singapore region and the VPC so this is a default VPC this I have created a separate VPC for that so I'm gonna choose that so this is my vpc1 all right and um yeah okay and then create host zone perfect now you created a host zone so that you can see over here that now it will appear as a my google.com and this type is private so let's go inside that and uh let me open an ec2 instance in a separate uh, tab and here i have two instances running as i have shown in this diagram one public and one private so this is my public instance i okay so this is the private instance basically which i want to access with that specific name for example so i'm gonna copy this private ip and create an a record over here so i'll just go to create record and let's say my db server is written is residing over here i'm not running any db for now but just to showcase that you know imagine that there is a database running over here and this server i want to access with db.mygoogle.com so create a record and i'll give the ip address of a ec2 instance running in a private subnet basically this particular person this particular uh, box sorry perfect so let's create record so which means within this vpc this particular box i can access with db.mygoogle.com so all i'm gonna do here is ssh into this particular machine and then i will ssh or ping to this particular box using that particular name so let's get the public ip of this ec2 instance so go here get it and let's first ssh inside this particular box so now i'm inside 12.00.217, which is the public um sorry which is the private ip address of this public uh ec2 instance in a public subnet so now this is the private instance which is 1201.116 but i will not be using this private ip address rather i will be using uh, db.mygoogle.com so ping db.mygoogle.com and now we see that it is resolving to this particular IP address. And all I can do is like instead of ping, if you say SSS, that also you should be able to go inside that particular box. So this demonstrates a very um, small yet powerful use case that you can use any kind of um, um, name to access any services within a VPC, even if you don't own that domain. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, please uh, like and share it with this video with your friends. Thank you.